Hmm, okay. So, I am casually back here, but just wanted to make right? sure I actually get all the evidence, because why not, right? I was looking over the footage, I was like, oh, it was in that direction, that's where I left those two. Neltz's guys were sampling And here we go. We found coke. Found coke in all the way out here. Shouldn't be doing that. Especially, I can't believe... Okay, so you're sampling the wares, right? You're like, hmm, gotta try it like okay, but why leave it on the table? <laughs> it's powder. It's gonna get flown all about the place. Put that shit in a bag. You gotta be responsible about your drugs, you know? Oh god, the neck piece evidence is a thousand meters away? Jesus. Okay, and what is the final piece of evidence that I should be super worried about? I don't know, but it's across a small portion of the water. We're gonna hope for the best here. Hey there, buddy. I'm in your territory, but we're friends. Okay, we're friends. We're friends. That's how friends communicate. Plenty of bullets and a lot of harsh words. Alright. How do I get up to you? Obviously, the evidence is up there, right? Uh-huh. So there's gotta be like an open side, or maybe I have to zip line down here from front now. That'd be stupid. Or not. Okay, I understand. Ah, oh, gosh. These better be like super worth it. I better find all the evidence in the future levels and just like all of a sudden go, oh, that's what the story's about. Although I think I've gotten the general gist for like at least most of these. Okay, and zip line down. Oh boy. Oh wow, wow, holy shit. It's like a map. Probably worth a look. I lost 70 health from that. That's ridiculous. A map of Neltz's territory. That's a lot of acres. Now maybe Neltz had his eyes on developing the land. Yeah, there you go. That adds even more to my whole, like, ah! He's capturing the land around the place so he can do his illegal drug things better. And apparently all the rest of the evidence for this particular case is in episode 4. So let's get on that, I suppose. Previously on Hardline. Planes go up, drugs come down. Whose operation is this? Some shipbird named Remy Neltz. Neltz! Put the gun down! I took the deal. You, starter, take it all. <laughs> He was surrendering! Leave it alone, partner. Before evidence arrives. <laughs> oh god, shit's gonna go bad here. Well, I disagree with your basic assessment of the facts. No, I understand. Thank you for your time. That was the Honorable Naomi Kushner. And what do we think about Judge Kushner around these parts? Left-wing hack. Yes, the good judge won't give me a no-knock warrant for known associates of Neltz. And that's just fine. War games, war rules. Mm. <sighs> Captain Dawes, Mendoza. I... The three of us are a tribal council. And I'm very aware that we're having problems with one of the members of our tribe. Is it me? He didn't take the money. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You were testing me. <laughs> well, we had to know if we could trust you. You know, from the very beginning, your partner assured me that we could. Now, what? you said that Nels was talking about a deal with Stoddard. Yeah, he sure did. Well, I need you to go back to Nels's office and get me something that I can take to Internal Affairs. I realize that a hurricane's incoming, detectives. But this can't wait. Yes, sir. Oh. Well, okay, as long as we partially think we can trust dolls and partially trust Kai, I'm just thrown for a fucking loop here. I want to be a good cop, not a bad cop. I know I like Jesus. shooting people, but goddamn. CSI's already been through here. What's the point? Well, they weren't looking for evidence against Stoddard. 
Look, we find anything, we go directly to Dawes. This goes to internal affairs. Dawes can't control what happens. You do trust Dawes, right? Look, Stoddard going down doesn't look good for anyone. A Stoddard's dirty. You know it, I know it. I'll keep watch out here. You go inside, find the evidence we need to take him down. Gladly. I'm just like uber paranoid that this is just something they're gonna like put on me. Like I'm here to clear out the evidence. The Maybe poke through the trash. Good idea. Just stay in touch. Ah, this building with the dying behind boxes constantly. Probably. Dirty cops look out for each other. Let's hope they didn't pull any evidence. Wouldn't surprise me. If Stoddard was stupid, he'd be in jail. Alright. I'm just looking around. I'm not gonna investigate. Or, well, I'm gonna investigate, but I'm not gonna scan these until I've gotten a good idea where everything is. And the reason for that is because they might talk a little bit while I'm walking around. Oh, I can't go back up these stairs? Alright, fine. Fuck it. I'll scan then. Okay. I guess I don't have a clear line of sight on it. Which is a duh, right? What is this anyways? Mmm, money! You know, I could take this money now, but I guess since CSI already scanned it, they'd be like, who took the money? Almost an expert. Wait, I'm almost an expert and I've only gotten four episodes into this? Okay. Nouts was sending money to some guy out west named Albert. Albert? At least 50k in small bills there. Nelts was trying to pay off his pre pretty sizable debt before he left his business to start. Started. Probably means he was afraid of Albert. So is Albert, like, big dude I should be worried about? Obviously. Obviously in a cop story. With drugs and shit, there's got to be some kind of super villain, or well, a villain who is a really major antagonist. What's going on here? There's some ten meters away from me. Maybe it's upstairs. Okay, we'll get the one that's down here. Barrels of die. Hey, more of those barrels. This is the same shit Nelson's guys were dumping into the Everglades. Discovering the origins of these barrels isn't my first priority, but it confirms my suspicions about who was dumping chemicals in the Everglades. Yeah, the people who want to own the place and look as if the entire place is toxic, so no one has suspicions. Shit's easy, man. I can do your detective job for you. Figured that out a long while ago. Hmm. I was about to say, do I strip the tape or do I just go around? And that was the answer pretty goddamn quick. Oh. Hey, there you go. I wanted to do damage to the wall. <laughs> All right, what's around here? Oh shit, I might have done more damage than I anticipated. Uh, this wasn't me. No, that was there beforehand. <laughs> CSI, no one was here. Where the hell is this over here anyways? What the fucking hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's creepy. What? It's a waffle asking if he can taste my syrup. I don't know if I want to put all that much on you, buddy. I don't even want to know what the fuck that is. Yeah! <laughs> Nelts, oddly enough, was the voice of Tamu Tamu. Would have never pegged Nelts as an anime voice actor. Then again, what the hell does an anime voice actor look like? Apparently dead. That's what anime voice actors look like nowadays. Oh, hello. Aw, oh, I was hoping there'd be evidence. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Chips? Not chips. It says something's nearby, but there could also be again going up to the roof or some shit. I'm hoping I don't miss out on anything. Because I really don't want to have another instance of having to go back through a chapter to find evidence. What we got here? Oh, discarded burner phones. A reorder. Nelts was doing bang up business. Nelts' business was booming. No wonder Stoddard wanted a piece of the action. That number looks familiar. Jeez. 
I could never do anything corrupt. I'd be so fucking overly paranoid that even burner phones couldn't satisfy me. Oh gosh. I'm a good citizen right down to the bone, friends. Although I guess that sounds like something a bad person would say. It's a lose-lose situation. Unless you're a good guy like me. Alright. I am trying to find my evidence. And it looks like we are going to continue going upstairs, alright. Just making sure everything's clear. There are a lot of bodies in here. <laughs> and it's about half my fault. What we got? Moved us recently. Ooh. Whoa! I can track fingerprints too? I don't know why the entire world isn't fucking lit up at this point then. Right, what do we got here? What? David Ignacio. Ah, okay. The concierge of the Elmore Hotel is running a hotshot ring, delivering it to guests like it's room service. Stoddard's name came up too. I need to look into that. The real question is, who's their supplier? Time to follow these little fish upstream. Mmm, okay. David Ignacio's business card. Neltz was supplying the guys back in the Elmore. That means Neltz was moving hotshot. Now I figure where he was getting it from. All these are- all of these need to like, tie together in some super chain. It'd be interesting. Ooh, one of those is in episode 4. This one is really spread out. The hotshot supply chain. I guess... That's gonna be pretty important. Ah, oh, that's all of our evidence. Generally. Just making sure. Alright. What do we got going behind this pretty standard looking painting? Oh. I don't know the code to this. That I can figure out this code. How? How would you want me to figure out this code? Oh, wow. Are you serious? That's it. Remy Nails insurance policy take 1. Friday night, August 14th. I'm going to meet with Stock. Right. Sounds like the next step is coming up with partnership terms that work for both of us. Neat. I think if you... Stoddard. Got you. Someone's gonna be here though. Kai, Watch. I found something. I'm headed downstairs. Kai? Yeah. I'm down oh. here now in the shipping container. It's always gonna be trouble, you know? I mean, especially in a chapter or an episode that has four fucking warrants, that's... That's a lot of shit to worry about. In fact, how much do I have to do here? Alright, there's ten evidence files. So I need to keep that in mind. If I haven't found ten, I shouldn't be running around too much. Kai? Ah. What'd you find? Nelson Stoddard, on tape. Now when we go to IA, it's not our word against his. Remy was storing his cash somewhere. I bet Stoddard's looking for it too. Look in there. What the hell is this? Some bullshit I don't pretend to understand. But I looked online and the only place that sells that crap is a store called Domo Roboto in Popcorn Mall. He wouldn't be storing his cash there. Nope. That's why I got the warehouse's address. It's worth a drive-by. Shouldn't we tell Dawes about at least the Stoddard thing? So he's like, ah, okay, we've got that information. Oh, and you're going to the warehouse? I'll make sure to be suspicious if you guys don't call back. I don't know, I've watched a ton of things with cop dramas, and every time somebody goes to a warehouse and doesn't tell the actual, you know, the police officer, like, hey, boss, we're going to this place. Bad shit happens. Sometimes death. But usually plot armor comes along, and I think at least I have a little bit of that. My advice? Don't go in through the front door. But they wouldn't expect that, because it'd be stupid. If Stoddard comes out without me, assume the worst. I always do! I love cutscenes where I have a weapon and then I end up not having the weapon. Nick, I just got word from CP about a suspicious van. I'm gonna follow it, okay? Alrighty. Yeah, alright. Just stay in contact. 
That's not suspicious tailing at all. <laughs> okay. We have a good number of people to be worried about. And at the same time, a pretty open area. I'm very intrigued by this. I like open areas. They give me... ...kind of a route to follow my own volition. At the same time, I also have to sit there going, Ah, shit, I have to actually have to do something specifically. Why can't I just snipe these guys? Ugh. Like this. <laughs> How do these guys not die? Two shots to the chest. Yeah, I, I, wanna, I wanna engage these guys. And then die, and then fight them again. I just need the violence, man. I need the violence. It is so absurd how fucking low the bullets go from a distance. Oh my god, we have to adjust for bullet drop. That's realistic. Hmm. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen guns in real life. I haven't, but... Pretty sure they can shoot a little bit further than this. Here, I'm a breaching charge. Whoops! <laughs> okay, we're gonna swap to an actual sniper rifle. Well, I mean, these are snipers. Sniper semi auto. We're gonna sh go for the Scat Elite. Because maybe. Ooh, or we can go for the R700 LZR. That has more damage. Honestly, that's, at this point, that's what I really want to be able to do a lot of damage. Ooh. Okay, if I can one-shot someone with the bullet drop bullets, then that'd be nice. Oh, god damn. I, I like hit-scan weapons too much. I like being able to point at someone's face like this, and they boop, they're dead! But we don't get that in the Battlefield series, which is why I hate sniping Battlefield. It's one thing to have, like, a little bit of bullet drop, but sometimes that shit gets insane. <laughs> like, I have to aim this high above someone if I want to try to get a headshot from range. Like, get that out of here. Hey. It's bad if the bullet has to travel some distance. And then the person's gonna be moving around. But, oh well. It is a very light problem. And I intend to die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, someone else. Let me make sure you're marked, buddy. So I always know where you are. Not that it matters, because I intend to shoot you uh, pretty quick. Uh-huh. No, I need you to stay still, so that way your head's die. There you go. It was kind of pointless to go to a, a bolt-action rifle, if I'm aiming for headshots anyways. I need speed. Oh, fire, really. Because the more bullets I can shoot down range I can get headshots, the faster these fights generally go. Alright, I'm gonna blow myself up. Oh, man! I don't know what I could do in my life! You've won now, you criminal scum! <laughs> Officer down code three. Oh, she knew! Good, good for her. Alright. We're gonna go and change out our gear. Uh, what could I use? Oh, fuck it. I'll just go with the AKM. We'll go close range. Use my suppressor, be pretty happy about stuff. I'm just sad I don't have, like, other things. I'd like to have a laser sight, or extended mags, better grips, all that would be cool. Alright. It's stealth time! Because we really like stealthing. Not really. But it's necessary if I'm to be a good cop with a lot of points. Vicious van. I'm going to follow it, okay? Yeah, all right. Just stay in contact. Lousy time for a hurricane, huh? Okay, up there. Wind's picking up. We pack out the heads of the mall, right? Oh, it's them talking. I wish there was, like, a thing I could shoot in the area and just hear it on my radio. 
because I hate that sometimes you see subtitles or miss out on conversations because the people are like super uber far away. All right. We are going to hope that we don't have to run into anybody in this particular area. 